Hello everybody, my name is Jennifer Maker. It's a beautiful day to show you how to make wood slice ornaments on the Great Maker Show and Tell. Looking for a little rustic charm this holiday season? These wood slice ornaments are super easy and very on trend. And best of all, they're simple and inexpensive to make. Ornaments are great for decorating your tree, sure, but you can also use them as gift tags on packages and stockings. Now for this project, you need some natural wood slices, about three and a half to four inches in diameter. You might have a branch out back, you can cut down with a miter saw, and if you do, uh, I recommend that you bake your wood slices in the oven for about an hour at 220 degrees Fahrenheit to get them ready to decorate. Now if you can't cut your own wood slices, no worry. You can buy wood slices in the exact size you need for your ornaments, pre-cut and drilled for hanging. I got this stack of slices off Amazon. You can also find them at craft stores. Now I recommend you use paint or varnish to coat your wood slices that will protect and decorate them. It also makes it easier to apply your decorations with vinyl. Now you can use acrylic paint or you can use gloss varnish to cover your ornaments. To decorate your wood slice ornaments, use permanent adhesive vinyl. I'm using white and black here. You'll also want some standard grip transfer tape um, to put, transfer the vinyl onto your wood. Last but not least, you need a way to hang your wood slice ornaments. You can dress them up with some pretty ribbon, like this gold ribbon here, or keep it rustic with twine or string. Tools used for this project include a way to cut your designs. I recommend a cutting machine like a Cricut. If you decide to paint your wood slices, you'll want something to hold your paints. Um, a large and a small brush, a cloth, and a cup of water. Other than that, all you need are some cute designs to put onto your ornaments. You can design your own decals or you can use my designs. I prepared eight fun holiday designs for you to use free. So let me show you where to find the designs for these ornaments and then I will show you how to cut and apply them to your wood slices. Step one, get the designs. Download the free ornament designs from my blog at jennifermaker.com slash 256. Just go to the red bar at the top and look for libraries. Then either click get a password if you don't yet have one or click enter the library. You can find the pattern by searching the page for design 256 and then click it to download an SVG cut file for cutting with a Cricut or another cutting machine as well as a printable PDF for cutting by hand. Step two, prepare your wood slices. Grab your wood slice ornaments, a cloth, something to hold your paints, a cup of water, and a large and small paintbrush. The wood slice ornaments arrive dusty from bark and wood bits, so dip a wet cloth into water and wipe the surface of the wood slice ornament to clean it. You can paint your wood slice ornaments with regular acrylic paint. Red, green, white, and black are great choices, and you should feel free to keep some unpainted to show the lovely natural wood. To paint them, take a small paintbrush and begin painting it around the outside of the wood slice. Frequently dip your brush in water to help the flow of the paint, but don't let your brush get too watery. Continue painting around the wood slice. Now grab a larger brush and begin painting the inside of the wood slice. Paint your brush strokes with the grain of the wood. Repeat this process for the different paint colors you choose to paint your wood slices with. You're also welcome to varnish your wood slices in advance as well. Just be sure to do that after your acrylic paint has dried. Now set all of your wood slices aside to dry and move on to the next step. Step three, cut out your vinyl. Let me show you how to cut out the vinyl ornament designs on a Cricut. First, upload the SVG cut file you downloaded in step one to Cricut Design Space. If you're unsure how to unzip and upload SVG files, please watch my SVGs Made Simple training series at jennifermaker.com SVGS. Once you have uploaded the designs into Cricut Design Space, decide if you want any of the designs to be cut in a different color of vinyl. I think black and white vinyl are good choices for most ornaments, but you get to decide. To change the color of a design layer, just select a layer by clicking on it and then go to the color box at the top of the screen and click it to choose a new color. 
The wood slice ornament designs are sized to fit the natural wood ornaments that I've listed in our project materials. However, it's always a good idea to measure the size of your wood slices as they could be slightly different and you may need to resize the designs. If you need help resizing this design, please see my resizing guide at jennifermaker.com slash resizing guide. If you want to cut different colors of vinyl at the same time, which is a huge time saver, take a look at my Cricut shortcut on how to cut more than one color of material at once at jennifermaker.com slash shortcut one. When you're ready to cut your project, click make it and choose your material. I am using premium vinyl here. Now to cut adhesive vinyl, place the vinyl pretty side up, which means backing side down on your cutting mat. You do not need to mirror adhesive vinyl. Once your designs have been cut, weed the design with a weeding tool. So to weed it, that means to take out all of the parts that you don't want to transfer to your wood slice ornament. And then place a piece of standard grip transfer tape on top of your weeded design. Step four, decorate your wood slice ornaments. Once your paint or varnish has dried completely, you're ready to add the wood slice ornament designs that you cut and weeded in the previous step. Pick up the design that you already put onto your transfer tape and place it on the ornament, being careful to center the design the way you want. When you have the design where you like it, press it down, smoothing from the center outward to minimize any bubbles or wrinkles. Now use a scraping tool to adhere the vinyl to the wood slice really, really well. We don't want any of that vinyl falling off or peeling off later. Carefully remove the transfer tape. It should come right off, but if you have any issues, go slower and use the tip of your weeding tool to help you keep the vinyl in place as you go. This is what the joy design looks like on a natural wood slice ornament. Continue adding the designs to the remaining ornaments. This is the fun part. You can use a gloss varnish to seal the vinyl on the wood slice ornament when you're done. Now it's not necessary to seal the vinyl. This is entirely up to you. To seal your ornament, just pour a quarter size amount of varnish onto the ornament and use a paintbrush to spread the varnish right over the top of your ornament. Continue applying varnish to the remaining ornaments. Once your wood slice ornaments are all dry, add a piece of string or ribbon for hanging on a tree or a package. Step five, show it off. And this is what the wood slice ornaments look like when they're all done. Aren't these just so cool? I love them. I think that I like the painted ones the best. These ornaments are addictive to make because they are so simple and they are easy to personalize with the year or a name too. I know you're gonna have so much fun making these. Now, if you have any questions at all about how to cut adhesive vinyl and apply it to a wood surface like this, I want to help. Leave your question below this video or ask in our Cricut Crafters group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters where you can get advice and ideas from a wonderful community of crafters. And if you need a cutting machine, I give one away every month. You can enter for the chance to win your own Cricut cutting machine at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut giveaway. 
And that's it for today. Tomorrow, I'll be back to show you how to make a Christmas shadow box with jingle bells. Remember, I'm always open to your project ideas. If you can tell me what you want to make, I can show you how to make it. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love. <laughs>